ticks are fairly slow movers, so they really can't outrun a dog or a cat or a person. So what they tend to do is climb up onto a branch or something and then drop down on their host. If a dog or cat happens to be lying in an area where ticks are on the ground, the ticks will crawl onto them. They tend to like the toes and ears of dogs and moist spots sometimes will find them in the armpits. Ticks can be very difficult to remove from a dog or a cat because with their mouth parts they tend to burrow very deeply. One of the safest and easiest things to do is to take an alcohol soaked cotton ball and apply it to the tick for a few seconds that will kind of paralyze the tick. And then if you have a tweezers or a forcep, you can grasp the tick as near to the mouth parts as possible and pull directly out. Once the tick is removed from a dog or a cat, I would recommend that you put it into a Ziploc bag and seal it. Um, ideally, I'd recommend that you take it to your veterinarian for identification because certain ticks carry certain types of diseases and if your dog or cat happens to get ill, it would be nice to know which tick species was involved. There are a lot of products available through veterinarians to help prevent and kill ticks um, on your pets. Many of these products contain an active ingredient that is in the family of, of drugs called pyrethrins and permethrin, which is a synthetic pyrethrin. Permethrins can potentially be toxic to cats. We have to be very careful with some of the products that are available for people for tick and mosquito repellent. There's an active ingredient called DEET, which is very commonly used for people, but tends to be very toxic for dogs and cats. So you do have to use caution. I would not recommend applying human products onto our pets because they can become very, very sick. So contact your veterinarian for advice about applying and, and giving the appropriate medications to try to prevent tick infestations on your pets.